Good afternoon, everybody. Missy Jen in the house here. We're not here to alarm people, okay? We just, we always share our news here on the ranch show, but the reality is Missy Jen needs surgery, and she's going to have surgery coming up, and we're going to discuss what that is. I know my surgery's coming up, but there's plenty of Rosie to go around to be supportive of uh, Missy Jen when she gets her uh, surgery done. Now, uh, Missy Jam, why don't you discuss some of the symptomology that you had? I mean, uh, just discuss time and, and where this began, and then we'll get into the specifics of what we've discovered and what it is. Once again, we'll just basically tell you it is a, it is a lump, but we're going to talk about what that uh, lump is. So go ahead there. Uh, well, I've been having a lump here now for several years, and it has... In the last two years, actually, increased in size, <clears throat> and hardened. Just recently, in uh, it's uh, instead of being all soft, it it started to develop like a core, a hardened core. The soft tissue around and um, let's see when was my last infusion uh, about two months ago yeah November or so you November. really started to begin misery with that so ever since I had my last infusion all of a sudden I started to really get a pain every time that it would move it's kind of sits kind of between my ribs uh, Every time it kind of moves and I bend over, it really hurts. It really hurts bad. So <clears throat> I have decided to have it looked at and see if it is something that can be removed. So. Or to biopsy it and make sure it wasn't something that's uh, mm -hmm. cancerous. So it actually turns out that it's something called a lipoma, which is not that uncommon, which is an encapsulated body of uh, fat and fluid. And they tend not to adhere to things. In other words, you can move it around. And I've, I've had Jen feel before that I've had one, and you can feel that again right right there on that, you know, right in there. Yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah, and it's been there for a long time, but <laughs> it shrank some. And what they are is painful because they can sort of wrap themselves around, get close to nerves. And I think that's what happened to you because you were pretty miserable in November because, you know, you couldn't get comfortable sitting because when you yeah, sat, yeah, yeah. it would push it just... down. It would push down on that. So you went to seek, uh, you know, went to your regular doctor, got checked out. So uh, yeah, had you had a, a surgical consultation yesterday. I had a sonogram first um, to see, make Ultrasound. sure. Yeah. Uh, on the ultrasound, make sure it's got all around edges. On it, and Are we having a baby? <laughs> and, uh, and and also make sure I'm not pregnant, um, so that I can go through the surgery without harming the baby. But uh, no, all, all jokes aside. Yeah. They did a uh, ult ultrasound. Ultrasound. USS. Yeah. And just to make sure that the, it's all got round, smooth edges, yeah. and. So that came out good. It's all around smooth edges. And so yesterday, I went and I saw the surgeon. And uh, he said, yep, yeah. he looked at it. He said, yep, yeah, we can take care of that. We can take that out. Let's schedule surgery for early January sometime and get it done. Yeah, so. we're waiting to hear. Mine is the 7th, but uh, it's, it's, it's no issue. I mean, I'm basically mobile. I mean, I really can't sit down or anything like that, but for Jen, it is on the side. Thank goodness it's, you never want, there's no such thing as uncomplicated surgery, but this should be rather straightforward to make an incision and uh, remove that. They may probably possibly do that under a local... Uh, yeah, they'll have the local anest yeah. anesthetic. So I know I wanted to, uh, we wanted to definitely bring you guys up to uh, date on that. So been on top of that. We're looking forward to that because that'll, that'll improve your quality of life because you've been doing good post infusions and things in your uh, endurance. Um, 
don't fool yourself. I mean, the MS is there, but I'm saying this, these infusions have been a real tonic for Missy Jan. And I'd like to keep her, uh, and I know she wants to too, on the path of to be as comfortable as, uh, as she can possibly be. And certainly is engaged in life. And, you know, uh, I try to get Missy Jan involved in as much, uh, possible chooching and some other things. So, we got our fingers crossed. Uh, you know, they'll do that surgery. They'll remove it. Of course, the pathologist has the final word. They take that removed uh, fatty deposit and fluid, and they send it off to the pathology lab. And then the uh, pathology doctor looks at that, examines that under the microscope, the cells just for the final determination. Um, it's it's routine to make sure they examine everything that gets removed. If it's it's an encapsulated. <clears throat> bit of matter there to make sure that there is no cancerous aspect to it. So. Yeah, I have another one that's right up here in my innards here, but it doesn't bother me, so. Well, you know, so we'll see. We're going to we're gonna pursue that. So we're at a point now where we're waiting for the surgeon yeah. to call back and put that on the schedule. So maybe that'll be early January before my uh, to-do uh, yeah, gets done. Get that done real yeah. quick. So. It's about an inch and a half by an inch, and uh, yes. it's really uncomfortable. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, there's the word. Um, we're calling it Christmas weekend this weekend. It's kind of an extended one with Christmas being on Tuesday. Missy Jen and I have the weekend. We have Friday night foodies. I have uh, also the teeny weeny bikini baking holiday edition with English toffee and lemon bars, which should be very interesting. And then uh, we'll be doing that. And then on Monday, which is Christmas Eve, we have the boss and Janice. And then I think Tuesday we'll treat ourselves to something real nice for Christmas dinner. We'll go. We'll go book something up uh, for Christmas. So. As usual, we want to thank you guys for being along. We will have, I think it is probably Sunday morning, Jen. We're going to have coffee time. We're going to go over all of our wonderful cards and things that have uh, come in to us. And we, mm -hmm. have, we have got tons of cards. Yes. And, um, you know, the ones that we can share, some people have asked us not to share, but just to keep things confidential and um, uh tremendous number of people like that it's, you know and we're, we're re we respect that and then we'll be doing some box openings uh to some of our wonderful friends particularly from long distances have been very very kind uh to us and we'll be doing a box openings and all that so okay i think missy jen's gonna be uh all right let's face it she's a norwegian warrior at the end of the day but it doesn't mean that she can't be be a comfortable one. Okay, so we will see you guys tonight. Friday night restaurant review, something a little different tonight. Be a good time. So, happy holidays and Merry Christmas, Christmas to you.